Saturday edition. Spotting Tampa International. The weekend has come already again. Where'd this week go? Just another drop dead gorgeous morning. It's been beautiful every day since uh, Hurricane Adelia came through. Can't get over these unique, cooler mornings we're having. Well, we got Southern Operations. I'm loving the weather. Let's get right on into the world. Let's get right into the aviation action. Thanks for being here. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Oh yeah. 1044 757 rocket ship service to AT. <laughs> Business airport, that's our service meeting. International airport. Oh, this hopefully is no trees. Light those burners, baby. Four hundred and seven miles of seven five seven rocket ship fun. Oh yeah. Oh Sunrise with a seven five. Kiss my sink was that gorgeous or what? Oh that cloud's all lit up with the morning sunrise about to happen. We like to call this golden hour. That's kind of a long takeoff roll for you. Guess who wasn't ready for takeoff, but they're ready now. United 2293, way down there by Hillsboro Avenue. You can see the beacon. There they are. Houston. Lined it up, you are cleared. This might be interesting, looks like a 7-3. We could be seeing a lot of in the tree action here. It's all right, take your time. You already weren't ready once, don't tip it over. There we go. Now we're ready for your ULP, ultra low performance takeoff settings. I'm sure this is going to be a barbecue special, low and slow. You know the drill. And if you don't know the drill, welcome to the channel. Hope you'll take a moment, smash that subscribe button, like, share, hit the notification bell, ding, ding, upload daily. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the super thanks icon. All right, tree lovers, here you go. I told you. Holy crap, Ola. Twenty two ninety 
93 happens to be a relatively new 737 MAX. Uh, the 3502 Tower, only one there left, wind 130 left. Land, one there left, up to 3502. United's 1480. Hey, back to back. United. Ultra low performance takeoff settings. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be eating a lot of barbecue. Well, the NFL starts this weekend, so we could use a bunch of barbecue, huh? A little tree trimming there. Oh, that was better than the Max. Yeah, you as well. Have a good day. Working for the weekend. And there's the wonderful cell phone lot here at uh, TPA. It's like going to a drive-in movie theater. So they got these two giant screens. You can look up there and see where your loved ones are, who you're picking up what gate they're at, what their flight number is, where their baggage is going to be. Not only that, look at this. You can see where they're... Oops, that wasn't quick enough. We should see in a second here, it should, screen should flip. And you'll see exactly where they are on flight radar. I don't know if, I don't know if they use flight radar, but we'll see. There you go. You can see exactly where everybody's flights are. Here they come. That's all the incoming. Is that cool or what? Mm. It's sunrise time here at TPA. Boy, anybody taking off now is going to get a gorgeous, gorgeous view. Hey, that's a citation over on the east side. Headed to Key West. Delta 775. During the week, it's the paparazzi special TPA to LAX. Los Angeles, California, El Segundo. But celebrities don't run on the weekend. They're already there. And no game show hosts, no wrestlers, no YouTubers, no real estate agents, no celebrities, no game show hosts, no wannabes. No haters, no influencers, and yeah, they're already sound asleep right now at the Beverly, Beverly Palms Hotel. They'll be up in about three or four hours, a little breakfast, whoa. It's heavy jet time in the cafeteria here at TPA. Five-year-old 767 heading home to Memphis. Looks like that's our only FedEx here today. Our one and only. Ooh, I spy a uh, special livery from JetBlue down there. The green machine. Spirit in the sky. Departed 981 miles ago from Detroit. Due to arrive 757, cool number. Current time 732. But 25 minutes early, is that right? Nice. A320 service.
at 7-3 over there in Airborne for a little maintenance. <laughs> This is weird. Doesn't have a destination for 692, but they're always going to Memphis, and this says flight time 28 minutes. But destination is NA. I wonder where they're going. Fort Myers or. Maybe they're going to Orlando or something? 28 minutes. Yikes, that's quick. 359, show yourself. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There they are. The latte, the coffee shop special. The long, long, long domestic flight to Seattle Tacoma International Airport. 2,500 and some odd miles. Steph, Steph, some stiff headwinds. This flight could be up towards the six hours, some days over six hours. You were feeling sleepy, very sleepy. Look into my eyes. Ah! Funny, when I was driving to this location, the captain, I didn't know, catch what flight it was, but the captain was giving their announcement how long their flight time would be, and uh, they're expecting a smooth ride, on-time departure, arrival early, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and and <laughs> he wasn't on the PA, he was on the... Uh, uh, he was talking to the tower. Of course, the tower being the tower, they let him just keep on talking. <laughs> and of course, the tower was nice enough to thank him for the update on their flight today. <laughs> and there goes 692. Taxi in for one niner right, Southern Ops. A 1519 to Antarctica, a.k.a. Minneapolis, St. Paul. I didn't want to leave the first location, but uh, I might have been pushing the boundaries a little bit. Security came by, and they couldn't have been nicer or more professional. This guy was really nice, really great. Couldn't have thanked him more. Um, totally understand that uh, his position was no one was to be where I was at, and I get it. Got a 1519 contact departure. So I got to write an email tonight and see if I can get permission to stay there next time. See if TPA will help us out. I don't ask for much. Boing! Give away my secret secret spot. Boy, this person in tower is letting them go a long ways out there before they tell them to call, contact, departure. Hunter, 741, the Bobcat livery. Yeah, the Mile High City, Denver. If there's any football fans out there, but did you see? The Detroit Lions beat the champion Kansas City. I wouldn't have thought Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, I think that's still their name, would uh, would lose. We got a southwest landing and fee five full fum. 
I smell a heavy jet, and here they come. I think we'll stick with the heavy jet. What do you think? <laughs> I'm terrible. It's super thanks, super shout out time here at TPA. Super thanks, super shout out to Deanna Brown. Deanna, my friend, thank you so much for supporting the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. If you'd like to support the channel like Deanna, please check out the super thanks icon. And if you haven't done so already, hopefully you'll take a moment, smash that subscribe button, like, share, hit the notification bell, ding, ding, uploads daily. Where else can you come for this much fun in the sun? Back we go to the aviation action. Alrighty, we made another move. Short term parking garage, top floor, north end. That's sunny. Sunny the collared lizard. My buddy, how are you? Good to see you. Looking good. 1306. Wow, there's a bunch of buses pulling up from Academy. You know, the big buses you see like a Greyhound. Must be a big group, team, something coming in. I'm going to say if it's a football team to play the, uh, the Bucks, they always park over at Signature Air. I wonder who they're, who they're picking up. It's got to be a team of some sort, I'm guessing. No, I came over here figuring nothing going on today. That would be incorrect. That is one big crane, isn't it? Boy, more buses. What the heck's going on? I wonder if this is for cruise ships or something. Is here, I can tell you that. Hey, it's 467. Red, white, blue. God bless America. From our nation's capital, DCA. Ooh, I hear a Neo starting. That's Sunny the Coddle Collared Lizard. Whoa. Foxy Moxie 1-2. 
20 to Huntsville. JetBlue's 592 to Boston Logan, 1,184 miles. Average flying time, two hours, 36 minutes. The boss and I certainly have our fingers crossed that Hurricane Lee continues its left turn that they're predicting. It goes right out to sea doesn't have any impact on the Northeast, US of A, or Canada for that matter, our Canadian buddies up there. Check out that Global Express. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? Headed to Newark. That's it, man. It's in contact first. We'll see. We'll jump on. We got a young plane spotter here. <laughs> Cute little thing. Let's see right there for takeoff. Let's see right there for takeoff. He's got a, like a princess uniform on <laughs> and some bear shoes. That's as good as it gets right there. She said a little while ago, when do the big planes come out? I said, yeah, that's what I want to know. That was 337 with the broken nose. Continues its taxi for one niner right. Hey, we had two airlines that were voted on in our recent survey that I didn't uh, mention. They had one vote each. One was Malaysia, and the other one was, oh gosh, what was the other one? Malaysia, and I'm forgetting the other one. I gotta look, I made a note. Good thing I made a note. Malaysia and Finnair each got one vote. So, considering there's only one vote for each one of them, you know who you are, who voted for them. You were the one and the only. Yeah, Singapore, hands down, was the, uh, the winner. Basically, one out of every three votes were for Singapore. Anybody got an idea, another idea for a survey? That was a lot of fun. A lot of great answers. Got everybody chit-chatting back and forth. If you got an idea, drop a comment down below. Ooh. And 
757 lovers, and then, then you definitely know who you are. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. Come to daddy. Seven. And they were ready. Yeah, don't faint. Now I'd really faint if they get up and over the wall of shame. But that would be like asking for a miracle. What did he say? Birds? Hey, this is 942 to our nation's capital, DCA. Southwest slash flight radar 24 shows this is 840 some miles. And I can promise you they will not be in the wall of shame. That's what I thought was down there. Good, they're gone. We don't need it. The last thing we need is a flock of birds on the runway. Not good, not good, not good for aerial planes. 7-5 to the world's busiest airport. Whoa, Foxy Moxie. Hey, the uh, Southwest that just left a moment ago that I did not film. My bad. Reported the uh, birds were at the end of the runway as well. So they're back or they didn't move. that lovely grass. Take down past departure. Up to departure, my C-138. 1702, through the crane. Now non-stop to the TWA Hotel, to the city that never sleeps. JFK, New York, New York. Okay. 
Hey, we got another rocket ship. This is 1228. You guessed it, ATL, the world's busiest airport in that time. We'll check the International Airport. 57 minutes, 757 fun. That's all the more time they get. Not even an hour. Bah humbug. 
These 757s are real workhorses up and down the coast. I got a ton of these things in and out of Florida all day long. MCO, RSW, FLL. MCO, gosh, I almost forgot the mouse's house. That's a wrap. That's gonna conclude the Saturday early morning edition of Spotting Tampa International. Hey, it was great having you on board. Hope you had as much fun as we had bringing it to you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome on board. Glad to have you here. Hope you'll take a moment, smash that subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell, ding, ding, as we upload daily. Oh yeah, we do this fun nonsense <laughs> each and every day, uploads every morning. You never know where we're gonna be. Uh, and if you'd like to support it, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out the, I'm just enjoying the sunrise. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out the super thanks icon. And anyway, as always, we'll see you again tomorrow on another edition of Spotting Tampa International. Just enjoy this uh, sunrise here for a second. <laughs>